Hey guys, it's MJ and this is episode 3 of the financing model and what we've added in now is the equity element. So how I've got it now is that the equity sold would be 20%. So whatever profit you receive, 20% of it will go to the investor in dividends. But the nice thing about getting equity is that you can build your asset or your new bar. In this case, we're dealing with beer. Um, so that you can get your extra monthly sales. So even with taking, say, 20% of that additional profit, we're going to be seeing it's slightly better um, than going the self-financing route. If you want to know more about the self-financing route or the orange line which represents the loan, please check out episode 1 and episode 2. So what we have here at the moment is, like I said, 20% is being sold under these conditions, we're seeing that the final um, answer is that equity is the best option. And what I'm doing is I'm just looking at the bank balance after five years. So after five years, we can see equity is comfortably in the lead. Although interestingly enough, equity has the lowest uh, profit near the end. So that's something that you're going to want to consider. If we had to extend this, say, to 10 years or 20 years, then equity might not be the best. So it is very term uh, sensitive. But let's have a little bit of fun. Let's say, um, and this oh yeah, this is showing how much that they, they're paying, uh, the investors are paying, and how much they're receiving. And that is dependent on the price of the new asset and the number of assets that they buy. So if we had to say increase that to two new assets, uh, we can see all the values change. Um, we can see that the equity is still the best option. Um, but you can check the annual rate of return is actually goes down to only 11%. Um, but if we say increase the extra monthly sales uh, to say 5,000, we'll see that that average annual return does increase. So there we go. I just want to check one thing. Yeah, there, it is changing the amount of beer uh, sold depending on the number of new assets you get. So what if our investors are, let's change it back to one extra bar. Um, let's say our investors are quite greedy and they want, say, 25% of the business for this 3 million rand investment. Um, we can see, oh, look at that. Equity is still still the better one. Let's make it, let's make it 50%. Okay, so under 50%, we see that um, the loan now is the best option. Uh, the average annual return that the investor would get is 44%. That is, that's quite huge. And so is equity better? No. Um, and you can see here on the graphs, the profit, because uh, you're basically giving 50% of it away, um, is less than the, the self-financing, even with the additional beer. And here we can see that equity uh, is way below the other two. But like I said, 50% is quite high, but this is the amount that we can play with. So we go to an investor, so as a store owner, you would say, um, let's say maybe it costs, say, 5 million. I always get confused with how many zeros I'm putting in there. Is that enough? 5 million, and let's say it's going to give me uh, 6,000 extra sales of beer, and that I need an additional two of these things. Then what you will be doing is coming to the investor saying, I need 10 million. What percentage of equity do you want for 10 million? And the investor will come up with a number and say 30%. And then you look at the model and you say, well, hey, hang on, that actually works for us um, over a course of five years. Then the investor will say, well, I'm getting 17% return. I'm happy with that as well. So both the investor and the store owner can use this model to determine if it's a good enough investment for them. So the investor will be looking at the output share, will be saying, um, you know, I have to invest that amount, and this is how much I'm getting back over a five-year period. Um, the input will be the amount that the investor wants, and the red values over here will be the store owner's amount that he's going to be putting in, what he thinks um, the business is going to perform. And then the shop owner will be looking, or business owner will be looking, okay, your yeah, equity is best, um, is better than self-financing, and it is better than going the loan route. 
Um, although, look, if we made, let's say, the loan zero and we increased the amount of equity that they wanted, let's say, to 45%, um, then you could say, well, hang on a second. As an investor, yes, you're going to be getting 25%, but it makes much better sense for me to go with the loan. So thank you for your money, but I'm not going to accept it. We're going to go with the bank instead. And then the, the investor will be like, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Maybe we'll give you 40, we'll just do it for 40%. And then you type it in and you're like, no. Then 35%. And then you can be like, okay, yeah, that's my deal. Um, but you can see, you can use this as a negotiating uh, tool between the investor and the shop owner. So you can almost be like a mediator if you have this model. You can sit between the investor, the bank, and the business owner and say, hey, this is this is what the outcome is going to be. Are you happy with that return? Um, and this is giving advice to the shop owner. But remember, these are models. It is deterministic. I mean, in real life, there will be a stochastic element. Profit will not be fixed every month. You will have good months. You will have some bad months. Um, so there will be that volatility involved, which this model doesn't capture, just because it's it's used to just be a decision-making tool. Um, and just help with the decisions and it would make it too complicated if we did add in that stochastic element. So I have kept it deterministic with the expected values and yeah, that is the equity element but we still have one last one to do and that is remember you can raise money through a loan or through an equity or through something called crystallization and the blockchain. So stay tuned um, for that part of the model which we will be showing you and I hope you guys have enjoyed this video feel free to ask any questions in the comment section below I will not however be giving out this Excel spreadsheet um, because it probably will go on sale and this is how I earn money in order to feed myself so don't ask for the Excel code unless you prepare to to pay for it um, other than that ask as many questions as you want and I will respond if I can thanks guys cheers